going on guys welcome back so we have the clown prince rinse bar review and previously i uploaded the dark knight scrub review so if you haven't watched that make sure you go ahead and watch that one as well so that bar i wasn't quite sure how i liked it somewhere maybe middle of the pack so let's see if this one is better or worse i love the artwork on this bar as well I, I said in the previous video, these two bars have some of the best artwork from Dr. Squatch I've ever seen. And this package was one of the fastest shipped I've ever had from Dr. Squatch. So very good on that end. Uh, I did read the scent description of this bar on the website. So it left me a little confused because on the website it says it's like a, a blood orange and something else. But then on the side of the bar, it says it smells like, if you can focus here, it smells like twisted grape. So which is it, Dr. Squatch? I don't know. So also, I noticed that this is featuring wild plum oil, which is an ingredient shared by the black hole brick from the Galaxy Bundle. But I'm fairly certain these bars won't smell too similar, just based on the ingredients and whatnot. I hope not, because I'm not a big fan of the black hole bar. So actually, I shouldn't say I'm not a big fan. I hate the black hole brick. That's like one of my least favorite bars ever. So <laughs> let's hope this is a little better than that. For ingredients, we have saponified oils, shea butter, wild plum oil, mica, tin oxide, iron oxide, kaolin clay, and sea salt. And there's the back of the bar here. So, let's pop it open and see what it smells like. And if you remember, the previous Batman collection came with a Batman brick, and it came with a Riddler brick, which was like a, kind of like a green apple scent and a little bit of like a grassy scent. So here's the bar, straight purple. It would have been cool if there were streaks of green running through it, but I'm not going to complain too much about the color because that's not really the most important part of this bar here. So there it is up close. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Wow. I have to say, Dr. Squatch, I'm interested to see how other people react to this bar because I think this is pretty good. Right off the bat, I get a little bit of like almost a grape soda scent, but maybe a little more sour, um, which wouldn't necessarily be like a great soap that I would necessarily love by itself. But after that, I smell a little bit of cherry. I'm convinced I smell a little bit of dark cherry in here. And then the very last thing that I smell is a little bit of like an orange juice scent not quite like a bitter orange peel but just a little bit of like a citrus in there a little bit of citrus in the background not much i smell quite a bit of cherry in here i might even smell more cherry than grape i don't know i like this bar quite a bit i'm not even a big fruity bar person but it smells really good i like this bar a lot i think this is a really good bar by dr squatch and it's something that's a lot different than a lot of the previous bars. I guess that's kind of what got me with Dark Knight Scrub. They have a lot of bars now that are just very similar type fragrances. And it feels like they might be mixing a few here and there. But this is something completely new by Dr. Squatch. They've never done anything like this before. Wow, really good bar. I think it's a really good bar. I like it quite a bit. It's a little sweet, a little sour. Let me know what you guys think about this bar down in the comments. All right, so make sure you guys stick around. Make sure you're subscribed because... This is number 74 from Dr. Squatch. I will be trying a 75th bar, Christmas limited edition coming soon, which I have not tried yet. It's brand new this year from Dr. Squatch. And then after that, it won't be long before I have my Dr. Squatch ranking all 75 bars. So leave a comment and we'll see you next time.